This $12 billion city was meant to be Africa's Dubai. Now it's mostly empty sand. 2009, Lagos, Nigeria. Budget, $12 B billion. Planned, 250,000 residents, 150,000 jobs. Echo Atlantic City was announced as a futuristic metropolis built on reclaimed land from the Atlantic, promising luxury skyscrapers, business hubs, and flood protection for Lagos. But over a decade later, much of it remains unfinished. What went wrong? First, financing proved unstable. Global oil prices crashed, shaking Nigeria's economy and investor confidence. Then, political shifts and regulatory delays slowed construction. Environmentalists warned about the impact on local fishing communities and flooding risks for nearby neighborhoods. The fallout? A few towers and paved roads dot the site, but most plots are empty. Vast stretches of sand, fences, and cranes frozen mid-build. Locals call it a ghost city, and only a handful of businesses have set up shop. Here's the twist. Echo Atlantic's first public event wasn't a grand opening, but a marathon. Runners looping through unfinished streets. Status? Partly open, largely incomplete. Follow us for more unbuilt and unlucky.